All right, guys, as promised, it's been many, many months. Um, I've done close to around about, ooh, I would have done, what are we at? I think of about uh, 290,000 Ks. And I did the PCV mod under the specs, not, not just drilling it out like a lot of people do, but doing it under the correct size specs um, as recommended. You can see that video in the corner now if you want to see um, exactly what's involved with that. And this is the actual result that well, many of you have been asking about. So I'm going to pull it out and check the condition of it. Obviously, a lot of you guys, if you follow the channel, you know I do a little bit of four-wheel driving in this thing. Um, so it's probably going to be a bit of sand. You can see on the top, but that's fine. The underneath is the question. See what that looks like. Don't ever let this go in the engine bay because they end up going and getting lost somewhere. But right, just to have a, pluri, a preliminary look, you can still see through it. You see that, guys? That's what you want because that, that tells us that it's not getting blocked up. 40,000 Ks, not cleaned once since the drill, and it's not just a hole drill through. So the, air, the um, positive pressure in the crankcase is going through um, the ventilation system as it should, as it's designed to do, and that's not clogged up. So I'll just spray this out with some uh, carby cleaner and then install it again and check it again another 40,000 Ks, but that is in really good condition. So we shouldn't have, based on this, we shouldn't have too much oil in the intake. It's actually quite, quite crazy, guys, because this, there wasn't even really any, when I put the carby cleaner through, not even a dis, really a big discoloration coming out. Um, and then I put some brake cleaner through it and just a little, a little light bit of brown came through. So that's a really good sign that it's um, doing what it should do and not actually getting clogged up anymore. If you want to know how to actually check this, uh, there is another video that I explain that. So you can, I'll put that in the link now. Um, and any, any of the other videos related to this, I'll just chuck in the description. So if, if you're looking for, you know, how to check it, what to drill, um, how I clean it and all that, you, you can do so by just yeah, going to the description and finding the videos. I don't actually remember how many videos I've done on this. So when I, when I go to putting the video together, I'll put them all down there. I just, the way I undo this to have a quick look, I undo this ring here, take off the other end of the ventilation. This is, this runs back to um, that PCV and one on the other side that hasn't got a valve. And I just pull it off and basically take it back like so. Let's have a look at the inside. So what do we got? We got a little bit of oil in there, maybe? How much have we got? Look at that. So there's probably... Like, that's not a lot compared to some of the ones I've seen where the, where the PCV is completely drilled out so there's nothing in there and it's just passing the air through. That's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm actually reasonably happy for, with that for 40,000 Ks. There's no oil here. So one of the things you'll find, uh, one of the things you'll find that I notice, if the PCV has been drilled through, you've just got a massive oil stain coming through here. There'll be a heap of oil just, just sitting in there. If that's happening, that's definitely a, uh, a sign that you, yeah, it's probably drilled and it's just burning up oil. There's nothing wrong with that. Like in theory, the vacuum that's coming in from your intake into the top of your engine and be burnt off. It's just it's just sucking oil out of your um out of your engine that's coming out the PCV. The downside to that is you're going to burn off a lot more oil. So over the course of you know ten thousand k's, how much oil um, are you going to lose? For me, I've lost I'm burning off about two hundred mils every um, eight thousand to ten thousand k's. Um, if it's drilled, you might lose a liter per ten thousand k's. I've seen cars losing quite a bit. Um, this is quite surprisingly good because that's actually dead dry in there. And I just thought, stay tuned because I picked up this um, SZ Ford Territory two-wheel drive. Um, what's it? I think it's got the 2.7 Dura Torque engine in it. And it runs, what, the 6R80 gearbox. And at the moment, the problem, the problem with this car is that it doesn't go into reverse and it slips in fourth gear and won't go into five and six. And the codes I'm getting for this is one code. 
and it's got something to do with a solenoid. So I'm going to try and buy some solenoids, swap them over, and see if it fixes that car. All right, well, I've given it a clean out, so use some um, degreaser and parts cleaner. Apparently, I didn't have any more CRC. Um, sorry, I didn't have any more carby cleaner left. I had just enough to do the PCV valve, so just degreased it and uh, then brake cleaned it so it's nice and clean in there. All right, happy days, all back together. Oh, there, there are better tools than these two to undo all that, but I'm still setting up the workshop. Got to buy a whole bit of new tools. Got to organise things. We've literally just got it functional at this stage. So stay tuned as we get more shed stuff happening and we bring some awesome content to you guys. And uh, I don't know, let me know. Let me know if you're interested into in seeing what's actually, if we can fix that gearbox without actually doing a whole changeover. Cause I read that the R680s, sorry, 6R80s are, are a bag of crap to change because of some programming thing you have to do and making sure that it's um, got the same shift strategy programming or something. It's, it's not like a, one of the Commodores or the Adventurers that you can just change and then drive off. You actually have to make sure the programming matches. Doesn't matter if it's still another 6R80, that's crazy. Anyhow, see you.